Good day all. My name is Sinsafaro Kuryawan of class IR to DP. I'm an LSP Communication and Business Institute student under the supervision of Mr. Charles Bonar Sirait as my mentor and my lecturer. And I'm here to talk to you about climate change, an issue which is very important for the sustainable world. Now, climate change is described by the United Nations Framework Convention of Climate Change, or the UNFCCC, as a change in the composition of the global atmosphere and, and natural climate variability caused either directly or indirectly by human activities over comparable time periods. The content of the global atmosphere in question is the, is the composition of the Earth's atmosphere in the form of greenhouse gases, which includes carbon dioxide, methane, nitrogen, and other substances. Now, greenhouse gases are needed to maintain the Earth's temperature stability. However, as the greenhouse gas concentrations level levels rise, the atmosphere layer becomes thicker. The amount of geothermal trapped in the Earth's atmosphere increases as the ozone layer thickens, resulting in the rise of the Earth's temperature, which is known to us as global warming. Now, how does this affect us? According to Planet Safe, scientists expect a rise in sea levels around the world as a result of melting of two massive ice sheets in Antarctica and Greenland, especially on the U.S. East Coast. Now, rising sea levels would have an effect on so many countries around the world. They are potentially going to devour our countries, forcing people to migrate, losing their homes, their communities, and even their histories. Uh, from, from this, we can take a look uh, at our next-door neighbor, the Maldives, which is already searching for a new home due to rising sea levels. And I'm afraid that Indonesia may be the next country to do so. Now, there are a lot of problems caused by climate change aside from rising sea levels. Those problems were, are, but not limited to, heat waves, droughts, cyclones, blizzards, rainstorms, and in the most extremes of cases, it may lead to the extension of the human species as we know today. But, uh, there are also a few positive feedbacks or facts that may help our fight against these problems. The first is the fact that the solution for a zero carbon future already exists. Locust, solar, wind, and battery technologies are unprofitable rapid growth paths that if maintained would be enough to cut electricity related emissions in half by 2030. In most, in most parts of the world, wind and solar energy now consistently outperforms fossil fuels and if the trend continues, electric vehicle market share could hit 90% by 2030 but only if the strong policy supports this goal. Now, we can leverage uh, these technologies as, as well as potentially scale up more unproven ones to mitigate nearly two-thirds of the potential emissions by 2030 if they are developed responsibly. Now, governments, on the other hand, must also push this development and carry us the rest of the way. The second one is the fact that the world is united and has committed to, to fight climate change. And in 2015, world readers from 90, 196 countries gathered in Paris to, find the, to sign the world's truly first global climate agreement. The United States, which is an original signatory, subsequently declared its intention to withdraw from the agreement in 2017. As part of the We Are Still In ca campaign, a growing alliance of the 3,600 representatives from cities, states, tribes, corporations, colleges, and universities came together to ensure America's continued commitment to the Paris Agreement. Now, this alliance encompasses of all 50 states and has a population of 155 million and a GDP of 9, 9 trillion and is rising by the day. And the third fact is that the people like us, people like you and me, people who actually cares about these problems, about climate change, are growing in numbers, and we are standing on the streets, and we are demanding action. Now, on September 22, uh, 2019, an unprecedented number of 6 million people joined the global climate strike, making it the biggest climate rally in history. While the demonstrations were led by the youth, the event brought all to get, to get together people of all ages, all walks of life, all backgrounds and all political parties. The strike, however, was just the beginning. It demonstrated that in our attempts to address the climate crisis, everyone has a say, everyone has a voice, and we need to take action, and we need your support to do so. Now, to conclude, although the situation is dire and it's not looking very good for us, we must not forget that this climate crisis can still be solved. 
We have the solution right in front of us and we must all stand together and unite to protect this planet that we call home. Okay. As we address our climate change issues in Indonesia as part of the important sustainable world issues, I would like to thank you for your time and attention. And I hope that this setting session will provide you with a deeper comprehension of climate change issues in Indonesia. Thank you very much.